Hi, how are you guys? My name is Evandro Costa and today I'm going to show you how to change the background color in your image and also make some tricks to make it better. Let's do this in Photoshop. I have this beautiful image of Sally. I'm going to tag her so you guys can check it out her Instagram. It's amazing. What I want in this picture, I want to change the background color. I want this color to be pink which will be met a better match for the theme of this photo, which is Barbie. So, to, to do this, I need to do something first. For example, to remove this cup, this softbox around, and let's do this. Starting out, we just starting by duplicate layer. We're gonna leave this layer untouched, and we are going to draw a rough selection with the lasso tool around the areas we don't want it press shift to create a new another selection and there we go go to edit fill and make sure it's content aware here selected 100% opacity and press ok it will take a few seconds and while we're waiting just if you have friends who likes photoshop who's a beginner photographer or just like it entertaining please send these videos to them it might be helpful press command d to deselect this part we are almost done but we still have something that we don't like here in this picture for example this part right here we just want to hide this very simple. Go to your left, grab your rectangular marquee tool, drag a rectangle around the area you want to hide. Press Command T for transform. Get one of these dots, hold the T, and just drag out. Press OK. Done. 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 Command D to deselect, and we are almost done with this part here. One thing I want to change before we start changing our background color is, is this part here. We're able to see the background of the, the box. Let's just fix this. You still with the rectangular marquee tool selected. Let's just draw a rectangle. That's fine. Now, Command J to copy, grab your movie tool, hold Shift, and just drag, drag, drag. It's not perfect, but we're missing this part here. Just go there, press Command, grab one of the dots, and you're able to move just one side not gonna be perfect it can be perfect if we take more time but I just want you guys to have an idea uh, right click uh, warp and then you can be a little bit more precise once you're satisfied just press ok yeah I'm satisfied merge these layers you can just press click on the top layer press command E and now the layers are merged okay let's do what we came here to do go to your layer adjustments adjustment layers go to the last one and click in the selective color this window will pop up here will pop up here what this window does is we can change the colors individually for example if I choose uh, here yellows if I move the slides around it's gonna affect only the yellows check the yellow part of the photo you can go crazy change the colors individually see it's going to change the whole yellow part in the, your picture but what I want to change the color here is not the yellow part, it's the white. And that is gray, neutral here. 
So we just go there, choose whites. Since we want to create a pink color, the opposite color of cyan is magenta. So we're gonna drag all the way to the left. We're gonna add a little bit of magenta. It's around 50, I guess. 55 is good. Yellow, we're gonna set the tone of the pink we want. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow. 40, around 40, and a little bit of black to make it a little bit darker. There we go. Still missing this part. We are going to go back again. Neutrals. And all the way to the left. Or almost, I guess it's okay. A little bit of magenta just or let's match this color yeah I guess like around five it's okay it's almost look like the same color and add a little bit yellow it's gonna be like around 10 and I'm gonna take it out a little black so the colors get gets even with the right side on where we have white. Okay, I'm satisfied. Once you're satisfied, just you can close this and check it out. We have pink background, but we still have the model pink, which you don't want it. But the good thing about using this adjustment layer mask, all the adjustment layers that you create right here comes with a mask which allows you to hide things. For example, if I draw a, a rectangle a rectangle here and just like paint it all on the in the rectangle, it's gonna show what is under. And basically that's what I want. But we're gonna do this right. Let's do Ctrl Z to come back, Command D to deselect, and with this layer selected, you're going to create a selection around our box. I'm gonna use object object selection tool, but you can use any selection you want it. In Photoshop 2020, we have this selection here. It's pretty easy to use. If you don't have it, you are an older version, you can use any other selection. It can be a quick selection tool. Here you just drag a rectangle around your subject. And in Photoshop you decide you take the action about what's the best selection for you. It does a really good job. Once you get this, just grab your brush tool. Make sure you have black black heights on the foreground and big one just paint it paint it paint it paint it good look at the mask we have this black hole here it's allow us to see through to the under layer that's great home and D to deselect and the picture is almost done one thing that it's bothering me in this picture is there's too much white here and I think we lost a bit of the, the shadows here which make the pictures a little bit more realistic. So to fix this we're going to recreate another layer with all the adjustments we just made. What you're gonna do, press Command, Option, Shift, E. If you are in a Windows it's Control, Alt, Shift, E. Go to filter, camera raw filter, it's gonna open this window here, which is basically a light room. You are going to add more shadows, make the shadows a little stronger. Just drag the shadows to the left, a bit of shadows here. White, I'm gonna take it off this white because it's affecting this area of the picture and I wanna this picture be a little bit more even. Okay, take it off the whites, exposure, let me see. I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave, bring a little bit of the exposure, contrast, just a bit. 
and press OK once you're satisfied. So the bad thing, what happened now, again, it affected our whole image, which I just want to be affected in the, the back part. But we already made a mask, just go to your older mask, press Alt, create, drag over the top layer, and this is going to just copy the mask. And we recreated the mask. Super simple. Now to finish this photo, I want to add a little bit of spiciness now. I want to add some light here, and that creates a little bit more interesting look. Remember, there was a soft box here, there was a light who was hitting her arm. So we are going to enhance that light, or maybe recreate the light. Grab your brush tool, choose a... Uh, I think this size is good. Make sure the foreground is white, very soft. Here I'm going to use this brush, it's quite big, 100% flow. And on bigger so and just draw one click oh sorry did wrong I forgot one thing click first the top layer create a empty layer now we are creating this this thing on top of everything just one touch and then we created that light it's a little bit weird, but it's gonna get better. Go to the blending mode here and choose overlay. And lower the opacity. Around 30, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. And you can move around this by moving to here to whatever you are satisfied with it is. Press OK. And I think I like it. I'm starting like a lot this picture. Now to finish up this picture, just one more thing. Go to the top layer, let's recreate everything. Command, Option, Shift, E, or Control, Alt, Shift, E. Go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and just, let's just enhance the colors. Add a little bit of contrast take it off the shadow so I want this picture to be a little bit more bright and happy less dramatic a little bit of the blacks and let's see yeah let just a little bit of whites a little bit of highlights exposure is good and one thing I think it's too much color here on the bottom Add grab the gradient gradient tool. Let's see if we can fix it. If it's not good, just don't do it. Just take down the highlights. Uh, I think it's better. There we go. Yep, it's more even. This a tiny bit the exposure. The lights spill it here all over. That's it. Press OK. And that's it. That's our photo. Let's just finish to see the before and after. I'm going to delete all this part. And then you can see that's the after. That's the before. That's the after. Okay, thanks for watching. If you guys like this tutorial, please let me know. And if you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you have many comments of the same question, I will make another video and I'll break down all your doubts or I'll answer any question. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.